student athletes we have here are Jared Roden and Miles Kale, and we'll get. Oh, okay. You want an opening? No, I don't, I don't do openings. Okay. Like this. All right. We'll start with questions for the student athletes, uh, Jared Roden and Miles Kale. So raise your hand, and we'll find you. Um, just wait for the mic there. All right. Yeah, Brendan Ball signed with the Setonian. Um, now that it's all said and done, what are you guys going to miss most about this program? Um, just the culture, the family life, um, just the development here. Um, I think it's unlike no other that I've ever had. Um, just how close-knit the people are, um, how they make you feel when you wake up and you walk around. Um, it's just unmatched. Uh, I felt like I came here as a young as a young boy, and I'm leaving as a man. And um, uh, the, the development and the, the things that Seton Hall has instilled in me and um, amazing people like Coach Willard, um, something I'll never forget and um, it'll change me as a man for the rest of my life. Um, yeah, I would just say the culture also, just uh, the things that I took away from here. Uh, you know, I left, I came here a boy and I left here a man and uh, Coach Willard did a good job just uh, coaching me for my five years and um, you know, every year was very special to me. So um, uh, nothing but love when I when I think about Seton Hall. Uh, Jerry, Jerry Carino from Connecticut, New Jersey. Guys, both of you can answer this. What what was the difference in that game that resulted in a, in a lopsided defeat? What did TCU do or what did you not do that uh, that causes? Um, I just think TCU is very f a physical team. Uh, uh, they rebounded the ball very well. Um, they were well prepared, um, very well coached. Um, and I thought they just played a very well overall, over, um, overall game. Um, it was very well rounded. Uh, the guard play was better than I actually thought. Um, those go, those, they got some dudes on their team. And um, yeah, they just had a better night than us. Yeah, what he said, same thing. Zach Brazil in your pros. Jared, could you just take take us through your mindset when they call that fifth foul that, you know, I mean, just what was it like to realize my career is now over? Um, I just made a basketball play. Um, in the moment, I wasn't thinking too much of, uh, you know, if my career was over. Um, my team was still in the game. Uh, there was still plenty of time left. So my, my thought was just encouraging my teammates um, until the whistle was blown. Um, the clock hit zero, so at that moment, I wasn't thinking about myself. I was just thinking about my teammates and you know, hoping that we can chip away as much as we could. How surprised were you by that, by that call? I mean, it's basketball. You know, calls go and they come. So you know, um, I didn't have the best whistle tonight, but you know, I'm just thankful to be able to play. Any other questions for the student athletes? Jerry Carino from Connecticut, New Jersey. Guys, how, how would you summarize the, this season as a whole? Um, I think it was a lot of ups and the downs, but that's just how Seton Hall is, you know, gritty, uh, play with a lot of pride, you know. Um, fa we faced a lot of adversity, but that's what we do. We go through it, and we stick together, and that's what we did the whole season. And um, we never budged, and, uh, you know, we, we kept our heads straight all season, so. Heaven Hill here with WSE Sports. I appreciate you guys coming out here and answering these questions. Miles, uh, you finished in double figures, one of the, the highlights tonight for the Pirates. Just give us an idea of, of where your head's at right now after you had a strong game coming to this one as one of the few Pirates on the team with tournament experience, you know, just how the night went and how you were keeping the guys level headed as the game went on. Um, I would just say I'm thankful. Thankful to just be in this position. You know, um, we, like a couple months ago, we didn't even know we was gonna make it here or not. And, um, we had a lot of adversity. Just, I mean, we had to just stick with it throughout the whole season. So I'm just thankful just being this, and um, even my fifth year, you know, um, just having this extra opportunity that I have. And um, thank you, thankful for the coaches, my teammates. You know, they they always wanted to see me do better and be great. And um, I try to show that today, but we came up short. So, any other questions for the student athletes? Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Appreciate thank you. it. And now, questions for Coach Willard. Uh, Joseph Boyd, Dallas Morning News. Uh, Kevin, just how hard was it with, you know, with Jared in foul trouble, and what does that kind of do to your offense, 
you know, when you don't have them out there for the time you would hope? Yeah, I mean, we, we, don't, we don't have – we didn't have much room for error. Um, and watching them play – and seeing what they had went through the last 10 games and who they played uh, and how they played. I mean, I know they were, I think they were four and six, but Kansas three times, Texas twice. Uh, I knew they were going to be battle tested. And I just thought Bow and, and Miles were just, you know, they were difference makers. You know, we haven't seen, they remind me a lot of Gillespie and. Not Daniels, uh, Jer, Gillespie, and Moore. Thank you. Um, two really, really strong guards, uh, and we just we're just so thin on on the guard front. I just thought they were the difference maker. Uh, Jerry Carino, Connecticut, New Jersey. Kevin, this team has responded a lot when when pushed this season. Why was they unable to respond tonight? I, I just you gotta give them I, TCU credit. I just thought they were much more physical than us. Um, I thought I thought they got into us really early in the game and kind of shook us, to be honest with you, uh, Jer. And then some, you know, they did a great job of when Jameer, when Cooks was out and Jameer was in, of really turning up the heat in the half court, de in the half court defense. And I thought that really, you know, we hadn't seen that that defensive pressure all year. Uh, UConn gave it to us a little bit. Um, but they're able to switch. They're able to get up into us. And I, I think I'm a huge fan of Emmanuel Miller. I just think he's a difference maker. I just watching him. He reminds me of Ishmael Sonogo, but a little bit more physical, a little, a little tougher. And I just, I just thought they were just a little. I thought they were a lot tougher than us. And I just thought they took us out of what we wanted to do. Coach Drew Davidson, Four Star Telegram. You, you talk about their physicality. On film, were they even more athletic in person than you you thought? Because I know the Big East obviously prides themselves on being physical and athletic as well. Yeah, I mean, I, I think um, I think it's very hard for players to to see on film what coaches can see on film and what we try to explain to them. Um, you know, we spent the last four days really trying to talk about. Um, how they were going to play us, what they were going to do. And I think, you know, until you go against the team, um, especially with two big physical guards uh, that can control tempo, control pick and rolls, um, I think, it, I think it's, it's hard to kind of to explain. So I, I, I think they, their physicality definitely was something that kind of surprised us. Uh, Coach, Colin Post, TCU 360. Obviously, TCU played a pretty complete defensive game, but did anyone individually stick out for just their effort and just how good they were defensively? I, I, for them? Yes, sir. Yeah, I, I love Emmanuel Miller. I think he's phenomenal. I, I might not be getting his first name right, but I go by numbers. No, I, number two. I, I, I love that dude. Um, he, he was calling out play calls. He was calling out. He was switching. Um, he was taking our four men out. Um, <laughs> you could tell he was at Texas Tech because that he plays defense like on another level. So, um, and I thought their guards, you know, I thought Miles and Ballot. I think I they really look refreshed from what the grind they went through their last ten games. They really did. They looked refreshed um, and playing like they played a little bit earlier in the year. So. Um, they just they just outplayed us. Brendan Balsam with the Setonian. Coach, what do you have to say to the fans that may or may not be frustrated after a loss like this? I, all I can say is that I'm really proud of what this team did this year. Um, you know, overcoming some of the things that we had to overcome. Um, you know, really bouncing back when times got hard. Um, I'm proud of this group. You know, again, this is not the way you want to end anything. It's a really bad way to end it. Um, that's not going to stop me from looking back and saying uh, all the things that we got accomplished and all the things that these kids did and overcame. So whether you lose by one or 27, it's the same thing. Jerry Carino, Gannett, New Jersey. Kevin, what could this season have been if Bryce Aiken hadn't gotten hurt? I don't know, Jerry. You know, I don't know. Could, we, we could be talking about the same thing last year. If he didn't get hurt last year, you know, we were – We'd won seven out of 
eight before he got hurt last year, and we lost our last four. So I feel bad for Bryce. Um, you know, we're definitely a, a totally different team with him out there. Um, but unfortunately, you know, it just, it's just hard to say. And one more question. Uh, what can you say about uh, your, your protege, your right-hand man, Shaheen Holloway? Yeah, what did he accomplish yesterday? I, I tell you what, um, I think that's been the happiest I've been. Um, I've never watched a game so closely and so intently and, and cheered. So I, m me and my son were in my room um, eating pizza. And I've never been so happy for a young man who's, uh, when I hired him at Iona, he was an assistant for St. Pat's. Um, and he has an unbelievable knowledge for the game. He has an unbelievable thirst for the game. And uh, he's a tremendous person. He's a tremendous um, teacher. Uh, and he is going to be a, a tremendous leader for many, many, many years to come. It was one of my best best days as a head coach. Uh, Zach Brazilla, New York Post. Kevin, there's been a lot of rumors in the last day or so of you potentially going to Maryland. Do you want to kind of comment on whether that's accurate or not? I, I'll give you exactly what I can tell you. I have an agent who I haven't talked to yet. I haven't talked to. I don't know who he's talking to. I have absolutely no idea. But when I get home tomorrow, I'll talk to my agent and discuss things with my agent. Do you, Do you think things will be resolved somewhat soon? I have no idea. I I, I literally have not. I mean, I, I've had three different agents in the last month. So, I've had my agent, my original agent, who I've had for 12 years, went to the TV broadcasting. I'll be honest with you, though. I mean, if I'm not here next year. I, I'd love to, if Shaheen Howie's here, then that'd be the happiest thing that ever happened to me. Any other questions for Coach? Thanks. Okay, thank you. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Well done. Well done. Thank you. Yep. <laughs>